So we're going to start sitting. Take a comfortable seat any way you like. You can support the hips or be directly on the floor. You can even sit in a chair if your body needs that this morning. Take a few moments to just arrive, center the body, to try and distill some of the mental and emotional intensity. Once you are in your seat, gently close your eyes. Let the eyelids feel heavy. You start to notice the movement in the eyes settle. Just begin to observe the physical sensations in your body right now. Acknowledging both pleasant sensations and uncomfortable ones. And through from head to toe. Stopping to consider every major joint, and every major muscle. And inviting the body to let go of tension where you find it. Using only the energy you absolutely need to stay upright and nothing else. when everything around us in the environment feels like chaos, it's really more important than ever to treat the body with as much compassion and benevolence as possible. So really honor what your body is telling you as you practice this morning. Your energy may shift throughout the posture practice. If you're paying attention, you can then respond. And the simplest way to pay attention to the body as we're practicing our postures is to stay connected to our breath. Listening to the sound quality and really feeling the air coming in and out the nose we're in and out the mouth if that's more comfortable. So before we begin to move and warm up, just take a minute or two here to be with your breath. Notice what moves in your body as you breathe. And see if you can just subtly broaden the expansion every time you inhale, creating more space. 
and slow down the contraction every time you exhale, guiding the breath out of the body. Start to feel an energetic reaction in your posture, lengthening upward through your spine, out the crown of the head as you breathe in, and grounding down through your tailbone, through to the floor every time you breathe out. Let the arms and legs feel heavy. Give yourself about 10 more steady deep breaths here. Next time that you exhale, drop your chin down toward your chest, lengthening the back of the neck, feeling heavy through your head. Every time you exhale, just feel that heaviness release, letting go of any tension in the top of the shoulders. If you'd like a deeper stretch, you can interlace your hands behind your neck. And just gently press at the base of the skull to connect the chin to the chest or just move it a bit closer. Take three more breaths here. And then unclasp the hands, inhale and roll your head. Reach the hands behind the back, clasping the fingers. Just need to let one more person in. Sorry, everyone. <clears throat> so open across your chest and gradually expand the arms behind you, reaching the fists down toward the floor. Nice and tall here. Feeling the shoulder blades glide down the back, collarbone spreading wide. If it feels good, you can take some rotation to the head here, moving the neck. You can do some half circles, rolling the chin to the left, and then down to the chest and to the right. Again, just letting go of any tension that may have accumulated in the shoulders or neck. And then let your head come back to neutral upright position and release the arms from behind the back. Let's take the left hand to the floor, inhale, raise the right arm up, and exhale, bend down into that elbow as you lean over to the left side. <laughs> Stay rooted through your right hip and actively stretch the right arm over the face, elongating all the way down from the armpit to the hip joint. Breathe into that space on the right side.
On an inhalation, push against your left palm and lift up, reaching toward the ceiling through both arms. Then exhale the right hand down, bend into that elbow, leaning over for your side stretch. Again, stay connected through your left hip joint. Keep that contact with the floor or your support. And then take a few more deep breaths, opening through the left side. And then again, push against your right hand. Inhale, lift up through both arms. Look up toward your thumbs and now energize through the middle and upper back. Get as much length as you can here. And draw your navel in slightly, really supporting through the core. One more breath in. And exhale, float the arms down. Good, let's come into table pose from here on the hands and knees. You can clear your mat, let me props you might have been sitting on. And we'll just take some spinal waves. On the inhalation, lift the tailbone, chest and chin. Exhale, tuck the tail and chin. And reverse. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Continue through this movement. And feel free to add any other direction through the spine or hips that would feel good to you this morning. Just waking up the body. And then return to a neutral spine in table pose. Keep your hips in line over the knees and walk your arms forward for half down dog. Start to press the chest down toward the floor, extending through your spine. Good. Your head may or may not touch the floor here. If it's not on the ground, try and let the neck be loose at least. Push actively against your palms. Feel your arms straighten and energize. Feel your shoulders and upper back active. And the next time you inhale, come back up to table. Plant the palms directly underneath your shoulders and step your legs back to find plank pose, upper push-up position. Feel strong energy through the legs, squeezing them together, engaging the outer hips and glutes. Strong energy in the core. And just starting to feel the warmth building the body as we stay here and breathe. Then lift your right foot two or three inches off the floor, three-limbed plank. And release. Other side, lift your left foot up. Keep the rest of the body in line. And release. One more breath in, exhale, lower down to the ground. Point your toes, roll those shoulders back and come up to a low or a high cobra. Exhale, let it go. Again, inhale, rolling up to cobra, opening the chest. Exhale, release. Once more, inhale. And exhale, let it go. Good, let's press back up to the knees. And step the right foot forward for a lunge. Good. Glide your left knee a little farther back. Point those toes. Press the top of the foot against the mat for stability here. And then lift the knee off the ground. Toes are pointed, knees up, stretching through the psoas. 
you let your upper body really rest on your right thigh for now, you're on the fingertips or blocks, you're going to get as much length through that back leg as you can. Good. Exhale, bring the knee back to the floor, and then inhale, rise up to crescent lunge. Lifting up through your spine, gliding the arms back. Press against the front foot as well, stabilizing the lower body. The next time you exhale, put your left hand down and twist. Rotate as you reach the right arm up toward the ceiling. Feel your shoulder blades stack and squeeze together. One more breath in and exhale, release. Good. Tuck your back toes under and lift that knee off the ground again. So now we're in our normal stance of the high lunge with the back heel lifted. And let's inhale, rise up again, finding balance now in our high crescent lunge. Steady breath. One more inhalation. Exhale, release. Hands down. Look toward your back foot. I'm going to have you hop it a few inches closer to the front of the mat and then press the hips back, straightening the front leg for pyramid pose. If this is really tight or your hamstrings resist, then take blocks underneath your hands. You could also take more flat back position if folding is a little too deep to start.
And exhale, release. Good. Tuck your toes under on the back foot and lift that knee off the ground here again. High lunge with the normal variation of that foot. The next time you inhale, rise up again, finding balance now in your high crescent lunge. Keep lifting that back knee nice and high and stay low in the front knee. One more breath in and exhale, hands to the floor. Look toward your back foot, hop it toward the front of the mat a few inches and then press back into your hips as you try and straighten your front leg for pyramid pose. You want the back heel connected to the floor, hips face forward as you try and straighten both legs here. And again, feel free to use blocks, especially if your hamstrings are tight. And look forward, we're going to step that back foot to the front of the mat and hang over both legs in our fold here again. Just drop the head. This time we're going to hold the back of the ankles or calves, just really wrapping the upper body close to the legs. And just let the weight of your head hang down. Feel your neck release. The next time you exhale, let go of the legs, and then we're going to inhale, rise up, reach over your head to stand, and exhale, arms to your sides. If you're going to move through a few rounds of sun salutations, make sure you're at the very front of your mat, starting in mountain pose. On an inhalation, reach up over your head, exhale, dive forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, walk to plank. Inhale here, and exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take your time getting there. And then settle into the pose. Pressing strongly against the palms, reaching up and back through your hips. One more breath in, look forward. Exhale, feet to your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reaching overhead. Exhale, release the arms. Second round, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plank. Inhale here, exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Stay here and breathe. On an inhalation, look forward. Exhale, step to your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, release. One more round. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plank. One breath in, exhale, slowly lower, inhale, cobra or up dog, exhale, down dog. Focus on one single point toward the back of your mat. 
Keeping your concentration in the body. On an inhalation, look forward. Exhale, feet to the hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up to stand. Exhale, release the arms. Go ready, come into chair pose and then a twist with chair. So stand with your feet about hip width apart or touching if you prefer. Bend your knees and sit back into chair. Feeling the hips draw way back in space and lifting up more through the chest, engaging the upper back. Nice long extension through the arms. From here, exhale the palms together in front of your heart. We're going to twist to the right, start to turn from your waist, and then cross the left elbow just outside the right knee, and use your right hand, the top one, to push down against the left palm and give you more rotation in the upper back. Look down at the floor, exhale, come to a forward bend, just releasing. Let the shoulders head and neck drop. Notice the energy in your body. And we'll come to chair from here this time. Bend the knees, sitting way back, and inhale, extend the upper body, reaching up through the arms. Good, bring the palms together in front of the heart. Exhale, and then twist to the left, rotating from the waist, crossing that right elbow just outside of the knee, and pressing your top palm strongly against the bottom one to help deepen your twist. Last breath in, look down, exhale, fold forward, let it go. Inhale, flat back, exhale, plank pose. Take a deep breath in, exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, up dog or cobra, exhale, down dog. Feel heavy through your neck. Then walk your feet two inches or so closer to the hands than you'd normally take them. And raise your left leg up into the air. Bend that knee and then rotate the hip open, trying to point the knee up toward the ceiling. And start to feel your right heel ground lower to the floor if you can. If it is touching the ground already, try and lift the toes of that foot up. Really working the front of the shin and ankle. Last breath in, and exhale, slowly release the left foot. Other side, raise your right leg up, three limb dog. Bend that knee, and then rotate the hip open, trying to point your knee up toward the ceiling. And try and stay level in your shoulders. Feel your sternum and chest still point toward the floor. Good, deep breath. See if you can feel your left heel get lower to the mat. And exhale, let it go. Good, bring your knees to the floor. Take them widely apart, point your toes and sit back on the heels for child's pose. Gradually letting your upper body settle. Once you're there, close the eyes. And just briefly scan through from head to toe. Noticing the energy in your body. Tuning into the sound of your own breath. And then for 
from here, I'm going to have you lift back up and find down dog. We're going to be coming into extended side angle pose. So if you like to have a block for that one, if your hand doesn't meet the floor, you might want to bring that to the front of your mat. So from here, let's raise the right leg up again. This time keeping the hip square. Look forward. Exhale and lunge that foot all the way up in between your hands. So you're in a high lunge. Ground your back heel to the mat, opening that hip and take your left hand to your waist. Right hand is on the floor, or you can put it on a block at this point. Start to open your upper body, feeling your ribcage and chest roll back, and then sweep your left arm diagonally over your face, reaching it away from your left hip. Good, staying really low in that front leg, but high and strong in the back leg. And if you don't have a block, you can always prop your forearm up onto your right thigh. That's another option. Just relieve a bit of the intensity in the hip, or if there's tightness in the shoulder or waist. Stay with it a few more breaths. And look down, exhale the left hand to the floor. Lift your back heel so you're in your high lunge again. Plant your palms and lift back to three limb dog. Reach the right leg up into the air. Open that hip to the side again and bend the knee. Good, exhale, release the right foot. Other side, raise your left leg, inhale. Look forward, exhale, step into high lunge. Good, once you're there, ground your right heel to the floor, so we're opening the hip, and then bring the right hip hand to your waist. Just start to gradually open that side of the body. Feel it revolve back a little bit. And then extend the right arm over your face, diagonal line away from the back leg. Good, and feel free to prop your left hand up higher or bring the forearm to the thigh if this is too much. But I want you to be able to stay low in that front leg. Good, a few more breaths. Good, everyone, look down. Exhale the right hand to the floor. Lift that back heel up, and then step back and lift the left leg up. Three limb dog, running that hip opening again, bending top knee. And exhale, release that foot to the floor. So look forward at your hands and exhale, walk your feet to the front of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Just stay here. You can hold onto the elbows again or wrap your arms behind the calves and hold the ankles. Just let go through your head and neck. Straighten the front leg and lift your back leg up into the air. 
So we want to try and keep our pelvis square, the front of the hip joints pointing toward the floor. So as you start to rotate forward in the pelvis, try and make sure it doesn't open to the side. As the upper body gets lower, the back leg lifts higher. And maybe extend the arms uh, alongside you, reaching the hands back for the feet. You can also take the hands together in front of the heart center or arms out to the sides. You can do what version feels best in your body. Okay, let's inhale, rise up, just stand in mountain pose, arms by your sides, take a few breaths. When you're ready for the next side, we're going to be standing on the left foot. Just take a little step back with your right foot. Bring your hands to your hips and guide your shoulders and elbows back. Find that focal point and then bend your front knee. Lean your upper body forward and then push against your mat. Straighten the left leg as you reach the right leg up. Really square your pelvis to the floor before you try and rotate anymore. Upper body forward, back leg lift. So you can take an arm position, either reaching back, out to the side, hands to the heart. And inhale, rise up. Let's reach both arms up over the head and exhale, fold. Hang here in your fold, letting go through the head, neck, and shoulders. Nice work, everybody. Hands to your shins. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plank pose. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Take five breaths here. Good. And next time you exhale, bring your knees to the floor. We're going to bring the knees together. Point your toes and sit back on your heels. And then walk your arms and upper body over to the right, creating a C curve in your spine. And then lower down for a lateral child pose. Let your head fall through the upper arms, chin toward the chest. Good. Inhale, lift the head and chest, walk your arms back through the center, and then over to the left side, creating that C curvature before you drop down again for your side child's pose.
You can certainly do this with a strap if the shoulders are tight. Good. Start to lift your arms up away from the hips any amount. Opening across the chest. And breathing into that space. If you're ready to come out, bring your hands back to your hips and slowly lift. Head is the last thing to come up. Untuck your toes and sit down again. Just take a moment here. Arms resting with the hands in the lap. You can close the eyes if you like. And take five slow, deep breaths here. So we're first just going to lengthen by coming into down dog. So lean forward, plant your palms, walk your knees back, and just get there slowly. Move into it gradually. And once you're upright, just take a few moments to let your spine extend. 
creating space between every vertebra. And then if it feels good, move around a little bit. You can bend one knee and reach the opposite heel down, just slowly pedaling and rocking side to side in the hips as you do this can be a really nice way to lengthen the lower side of the torso. Gradually increasing the depth of that hip rocking. Almost turning the front of your pelvis completely to the side. This is a really good stretch in the waist. Good, and then let's bring the knees back to table. We're gonna take a little twist here with threading the needle. On an inhalation, raise your right arm up. Exhale, sweep it underneath you, coming down to the shoulder and the side of your head. Move your left hand over a little and push the ground. To lean back on the right shoulder, feeling that twist move from the waist on the left side all the way to the upper back on the right side. Breathe into that. Good. When you're ready to come out, push against your left palm, come off the shoulder. You can reach up to the right again if you like, and then take it back to table. Other side, raise your left arm up, and exhale, sweep that arm under you to come to the shoulder and the side of the head. Good, move your right hand over a little and push down against the mat to lean back more. Feeling that twist go from the lower right side all the way across to the upper left side. out, push the floor, come off of the left shoulder, you can reach up to the left again if you like, and then release. Okay, let's have a seat. If you'd like to elevate your hips, go ahead and grab your folded blanket or bolster. We're going to take some forward folds now to really counter the movement in the spine from camel. So let's just start with a simple seated forward bend. Extend your legs out in front of you. Just sitting up really tall, you can put your hands on the floor outside of the hips or on blocks if they don't touch. And try and bring your body into an L shape. So really lift up out of the lower back. Good, and if this already feels tight in the hamstrings, you can try putting a little more space between the legs and also bending the knees a bit when we fold. Let's inhale, reach the arms up. Tuck your chin and exhale. Start to lengthen the upper body forward holding wherever your hands naturally land. That might be the shins or the calves or the ankles. It may not be the heels. And wherever you get to, try and soften in the back of your neck. See if you can let the weight of your head drop down. Take several more breaths here. Give your body the time it needs to soften into this shape.
When you're ready to come out, inhale and roll up. Let's bend the right knee and open the knee out to the side, placing the sole of the foot to the inner thigh. We're going to take nose to knee pose, another forward fold. Take your fingertips to the floor on either side of the straight leg, so in front of you now. If they don't touch the floor, you can put them on blocks. Push against that point to help you lift up tall again. And before we fold, just try and square your upper body so that you're really facing the straight leg. So that might mean some rotation from the waist and the ribcage to really turn and square your chest forward. Good. The next time you exhale, tuck your chin to the chest, lean your upper body forward and walk your hands one at a time out toward your left foot and then hold at whatever point you comfortably get to. Letting the weight of your head drop again. And try and keep that hip opening on the right side. The outer thigh and knee are moving down toward the ground. Feel every inhalation expand in your lower right side. That's fine, but I just want to make sure that we're not getting interference right now. Okay. All right, so get into a nice, comfortable, reclined posture. And once you are there, Close the eyes and just start to turn your focus inward. Take a deep breath in through the nose and out through your mouth. Feel your lower jaw release. And let go of that purposeful, deep breath as you let your natural breath quality return to your body. Feel every muscle and every joint melt into the floor. 
completely letting go of the active physical energy. to move a little bit through the fingers and the toes. And then bend your knees and bring them into the upper body, hugging the arms around the legs. And just take a little rocking motion side to side here, massaging your low back. And then roll over to one side, pausing in a fetal pose briefly. And then whenever you 
you feel ready, come upright and find a comfortable seat with your eyes closed. Once you're sitting, let the hands rest in the lap, the arms and shoulders heavy. And start to feel that connection down through the sitting bones into the floor, and the length up through the spine and out the crown of the head. Continue to breathe more deeply. And then you can bring the palms together in front of your heart, and we'll end our practice this morning chanting OM one time. Take a deep breath in.